this is probably one of my favorite videos I've filmed. You guys watch me shop here. I do hauls, thrifting stuff. But you guys rarely see me declutter. I watch a lot of minimalist videos. Me and my boyfriend Rudy. So that's something that I never or I was scared to talk about on my channel. Just because I'm not a minimalist. I don't proclaim to be a minimalist. I don't strive to be a minimalist. I just watch a lot of minimalists on YouTube. And I love... I love seeing them like go through their stuff and explain why they're getting rid of their stuff. Yeah, this video is not me striving to be any of those things. I just wanted to participate in this challenge that I've been seeing going around. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Destiny. And today we're doing a decluttering challenge. So basically, if you guys read the title, you guys may or may not know about it. So basically get rid of whatever day it is, that many items. So the first day, one item, second day, two items, three, you get the point. By the end of the month, 30 days, you'll have gotten rid of 500 items. Now I've done this challenge before, but I never recorded it, never talked about it. It was just, I slipped it under the covers and I never spoke of it to you guys. <sighs> So I'm really nervous about this video. You guys are gonna see so much random stuff. Please enjoy it. If you guys do like this and find this satisfying, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and with that, let's get with the video. So the first thing I'm getting rid of is this Nike dry fit t-shirt. I really love the color, which is why I bought it, but I don't like the fit of it. I'll be getting rid of these two curtains. They were thrifted and they are covered in a lot of stains, so I recently just replaced my curtain, so I don't need these anymore. I'll be getting rid of this microfiber towel. This was really good for wetting it, stretching it, and it keeps you cool during a really hot run in the heat. But I like running in the heat, and I like feeling the sun burning my skin, so I don't need this. Chapstick. This candle from Pier 1 that I got for free, but I, <laughs> I barely used it. I will be getting rid of these two pairs of socks. I use them for barefoot running, so they are very stained dirty. This <laughs> is a disgusting shirt that I got from my cousin, and unfortunately, um, yeah. Lastly, I will be getting rid of this t-shirt. Love the message. Don't really love the fit. For the fifth day, I'm getting rid of these five pairs of socks. I will be getting rid of this sports bra. I don't know, I have a lot of other colorful ones I like wearing, preferably more than this one. This other sports bra, this one's just really small. Now this little bag and I just haven't used it. I thrifted it a while ago. I have this organic scrubber that I never used. Another chapstick and this eyeglass cleaner. I will be getting rid of this aromatherapy pillow mist. This stuff is amazing. Screenshot it and go buy it. I already have two other ones, so I'll be giving this one away. This puzzle that I got for free. I don't know. I just keep random stuff, you guys. This spoon that I never use for tea. This goes into your shoes if you have smelly feet. I don't. Even as a runner, I don't. So, I don't know. I could live without it. I have one sock. I don't know where the other pair is. I have this pair of earrings that I made them myself, but I don't really love them. Then I have this Melania eyeshadow, and I just don't really like the blend. Okay, for day eight, I'm getting rid of this large frame. It's very dusty and dirty. I actually had my varsity certificate in this, and it broke. So I thought I would fix it, but I honestly wouldn't want to frame it back together again. I really don't like these hangers. This is from the dry cleaning. Then I have this frame. It is broken in the tip. This other frame, don't really care for the bl the brown border. This white and gold frame, by the way, these frames were purchased at the dollar store. And I'll be getting rid of, ooh, oh, this rubber band. I really don't like these textured rubber bands. I feel like they don't hold my hair up and they lose the elasticity really quick. I really don't like velvet tight shirts anymore, so yeah. I feel really bad getting rid of this because this was a purchase from Christmas just last year for my mom, so yeah, sorry mom. I'm just kind of, I don't know, I, I just, it doesn't hold a lot as much as I need it to. Today I'm getting rid of another sock. This dress, that's more like a shirt. This Sharpie, this mug, this construction paper, this hanger from Target, this extra mask, this 
strand of ribbon. Lastly, this wicker storage bin. We are getting rid of three pop sockets. I used to be a huge fan of Duck Dynasty. <laughs> I'm getting rid of four containers I no longer need. The storage bin that's way too small for anything really. And these two puzzles that I already put together. Okay, for day 11, I'm getting rid of this. This tiny sombrero. <laughs> This bracelet, this pillowcase case, and lastly, these six pieces of paper. Today, I'm gonna get rid of three scraps of paper, seven pencils, and two pens. For day 13, I will be getting rid of 12 pieces of homework papers and one blouse. For day 14, I will be getting rid of this white sheet, this costume headband this sheet cover case, this skirt that's just a little bit too long, this crochet blanket I have no idea what to do with anymore, this book of poems, this lipstick case, this umbrella that's broken. I found another one of those little foot smelly things. I have this random bag of screws and I don't remember what it goes to. And I have four more sheets of paper. For day 15, I'll be getting rid of this book. Oh, God lots of pictures in it this end of the bed spread that i thought i really wanted for a long time but um, i don't really need it this white t-shirt that is now like covered in stains that are very minor but i could get a new one then your this pack of i didn't really use this pen screen touchy thing this golf ball and eight more pages of paper Okay, for day 16, I tried to wear this blouse. I really regret not returning it, but it's got these really cool sleeves. I really just don't like this neckline. This vintage 90s dress. I really don't like these cup sleeves, but it's very long, very flattering. I also have another dress that has a similar print that's just a little bit more updated. This is one of the things I might take out of the pile and just give something else away because I, I have such a hard problem parting with the sweaters and this is my favorite sweater of all time. And I have a couple friends that have asked for it and I'm going to give it to one of them. It's literally the most comfortable sweater I've ever owned. I have another white sheet. Spend good money on good quality sheets. This is a really cheap one and I'm tired of it falling off my mattress. This and this. Today I'm not going to show you but there are four um, envelopes I'm going to get rid of. That's mail and six sheets of paper from homework. Okay, today is a bit boring. I'm going to get rid of these index cards, we're just going to count them as one because I'm decluttering papers if you guys can't tell. Now I'm going to get rid of these 16 pieces of paper. <laughs> okay, for day 18, I'm getting rid of 15 scraps of paper. This scrap of jeans. This pin. No idea where this came from, but I'm getting rid of this. For day 19, I'm getting rid of this reusable bag. Found another one of those... <laughs> These heels that are actually falling apart. A pair of earbuds. A bra that I will not be showing. This blouse that's just a little too low cut for me. A Selena sweater. This jean jacket. This blue turtleneck. French shirt that's full of stains. T-shirt that I literally live in in the summertime when I'm at home and it's so gross. These corduroy pants that I actually really love, but they're really cheap quality and very stiff. They're not very comfortable to wear. Foot cover, this empty lipstick container, um, this mini photo album, Gar these two Garmin watch manuals, and this random flashcard. I'm getting rid of this. This was one of the first things I thrifted as a kid, and the lady actually gave it to me for free. So, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea anymore, and it's, like, very warped. I have another suitcase from my childhood that I love even more, though. Okay, for day 20, I'm getting rid of this ribbon. I usually save these for crafts, but this one's really stained. This random, like, 
picture frame glass. Usually was keeping this for another frame, but it is messed up in the corner. Random wire hanger. I have no idea why I have this. So wait. Um, yeah, I was planning on getting another one so I could use both, but I've had this for so many years I never did and they don't sell it anymore that I could find. So I'm just gonna rebuy the 15. Gave her this extra sock. I just recently bought a new pair of running shoes. Packet of Scantrons. This Christmas card I never used. Random picture I was saving because I wanted to remember the size of this frame. I don't know. I have no idea what this is for, but I'm getting rid of it. I thought I wanted to save this box, but really I can care less to keep the box. Found another one of these. I've had this globe since I was little. I thrifted it a long time ago and I don't need it. This CD, this ribbon of beads that I made. This frame, this necklace. This little card, this mail opener, and I found this bag underneath my bed. I don't know what it's to. Okay, for day 21, I'm getting rid of 12 of these assorted pens and pencils. These bookmark tabs, this end of a paintbrush, a bookmark, this random screw, these two ribbons, three pieces of fabric. Day 22, I'm getting rid of 22 pieces of paper. Okay, my cat's eating in the background. But I'm getting rid of this book. Other childhood book I, I have a copy of. 12 pieces of paper. These two bobby pins. Okay, for day 24, I'm getting rid of these 17 pieces of paper. This scarf. This book that lights up. I'm not gonna get rid of this until I find the charger. I know I have it. This book, this book, this book. This one, I thought I wanted to keep this for my future child, but honestly, I didn't even grow up with this devotional. This pillow, I don't really like how it doesn't have a zipper so I can wash the cover. 25, I'm getting rid of an assortment of school papers and mail. Day 26, I'm getting rid of these 14 pieces of like craft paper. I put together this craft for me and my boyfriend back in high school and I tore it apart. Yes, we're still together. Um, I just did kind of like a whatever job putting it together to ask him to, I think it was Sadie's, I don't know, but I hated it. <laughs> and then I'm getting rid of the journal. These 11 envelopes of mail. 27, I will be getting rid of these two shoe boxes. I will be giving away these two Dr. Bronner's soaps. I don't know, I just never used them. This laptop case. <laughs> my cat's watching me do this and he is looking at me like what the heck are you doing this candle uh, random screws again this pink telephone I keep my my teas in this but <sighs> yeah it's annoying these mules this bathing suit top that's unraveling this sports bra I don't really need this is a bathing suit bottom, green corduroy pants, these two identical running tops. I actually have realized I really like running tops when they are loose and not sticking to my body. This stack of pamphlets, blue pens, random top to a ring, paper clip, and another random screw. Day 28, I will be getting rid of this backpack. It's really worn in and it does not have great back support at all. Cluttered a lot of clothes. This is a bathing suit cover. S slip, I unfortunately put in the dryer and it's silk and it's just not as pretty anymore. Red skirts, just don't have an occasion for. This is another black nightgown. It was a summer top that I liked. It's two pairs of socks, white button down I really liked but it has a tear and a few stains on it. This Nike running top. I've had this for so many years running through it. I just have bought new ones now. This long sleeve. Again, another workout top, but it's not that breathable. This button down blouse. I believe I've had these pajama bottoms for like over three years now. And I wear them every single day of those three years. So they have a lot of holes and they're very see-through. And I have these Levi Bermuda shorts. Not really into the Bermudas anymore, I guess. Red blouse, I had fun wearing, but I'm ready to pass it along. 
these white Forever 21 shorts. They are just, my, they were my comfy shorts, but I don't really like the stretchiness of them. And 12 assorted hangers. For day 29, this is probably the most exciting. So I'm getting rid of these. There it is. Yeah. Really annoying. These Adidas Boost. I have three pairs of these boots. Don't ask why, but I'm going to get rid of one because I can tell that the leather in the back is starting to peel. So I think I'll be fine with the other pair I have. I only have one more pair left. These heels I wore for winter formal and for every other day I had with my boyfriend after high school. Three pairs of socks, three boxes. I hate faces on trains. This book freaks me out and I don't want it. <laughs> this was a, what, it was a study Bible. The study Bible. Two things of laundry detergent I'm going to give away. Forgot I had another pair of socks. I wish I returned this when I bought it. Tip for ordering online, do not buy Forever 21 white online. I got this on ThreadUp and it's like very see-through. I'm going to say goodbye to this. I really don't like the print, but I love that it's like a flannel that's like really long. I love layering with it. I just really hate the color and print, so. I'm gonna give that to someone who will really like it. I have a thicker version of this jacket. I figured I don't need both. So that will be on my Poshmark. These two very hefty curtains. I have someone in mind that I will be giving these to. Thrifted them, so good. Break for two pieces of paper, a broken hanger. My cat, <laughs> that's not why I'm getting rid of this, but I'm getting rid of this rug. Uh, it's very pretty, but I don't need it. These purple pants. I will open them so you guys can see them, but I wore these all throughout high school. This is what I think about when I think about how I dressed in high school was literally however I wanted to. These are like MC Hammer pants. And they're just very, very worn in and I don't feel my best in them anymore. These are some pregnancy pants my mom gave me. I'm not pregnant. But I thought I would want to wear them, um, but I just never did, so I don't know. I'm not that much of a fan for houndstooth. Pair of pants. This hat I will probably be giving to my mom. My grandpa used to collect hats, and I took this from his collection, and I'm just going to return it. This pink vintage turtleneck. All right, last day. This frame, this Beatles CD. I'm not the biggest Beatles fan, so I don't need this. After I'm done with this class, when the semester ends in a couple weeks, I will be getting rid of this. Five pieces of paper, one pencil, this nail, is three pencil cap, pencil pen caps, this box, this box, these boxes, these two boxes, this dress, that's just a wee bit short for me now. This velvet turtleneck that I got from a friend, but unfortunately it's too tight around the armpit and I don't like tight velvety shirts anymore. These two Hello cases, they're like very crochet, grandma-y like. Not my cup of tea anymore. These light wash pants that have this really cool detailing at the end. A pair of socks. This velvet blue blazer. This is one of those pieces that looks super cute on a hanger, but when you put it on, it's just not ideal. It's like a linen romper. Sounds cute, but you should see it on me. I look like an Oompa These green corduroy pants. They are too tight on my waist. And I can't eat when I wear them, so why keep them? Lastly, I will be getting rid of this denim jacket. Super cute. I just have one that I really, really love. And I think someone else will love this even more. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see me do this video again, I probably won't be able to. I've done this challenge before. This is my second time around, and I'm doing it a third time in December. And I really don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to 500 items at the month, at the end of the month. But I'm going to try. 
so we'll see if I end up filming that or not. If you guys did enjoy this, please let me know what you guys thought down below. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.